Introduction to Numbers from 1 to 5 Hello friends, I am the parrot. Welcome to this lesson. Now let us see what you will learn from this lesson. What are numbers and how to count and write numbers from 1 to 5? Today Pinky and her friends have their first music class. In the class many flutes are placed on the table. The teacher has to give a flute to each child but for this she should know how many children are there in the class. This means that she should know the total number of children. To find out the number of children in the class, she makes the children stand in a row and starts counting them one by one. So he is one. She is two. He is three. She is four. And he is five. There are five children in the class today. So children, can you tell me how many flutes would be needed for five children? Let us see. For five children, we would need five flutes. Pinky, can you bring five flutes from the table? Yes ma'am, I will bring them. Then Pinky goes to the table and picks up five flutes one by one. One. Two, three, four, five. Here you go, ma'am. I have five flutes. Very good, Pinky. Now give one flute to one child and then you keep one for yourself. Okay, ma'am. Then Pinky gives a flute each to all the children one by one and keeps a flute for herself. Very good, Pinky. So children, can you also count five things just like Pinky? You have seen how you can write each number as a special symbol. Let us learn to write these symbols. We write one like this, two like this, three like this. 4 like this and 5 like this. All of you must practice writing these symbols. That was all for today. In this video we learn what are the numbers and how to count and write numbers from 1 to 5. In the next video we will see some more examples of numbers. Until then Goodbye, friends. Interesting example, part 1. Children, in the last video you saw how five flutes were counted and distributed among the children. In this video, we will see some interesting examples in which we will compare numbers. Today, Pinky has gone to the zoo with her mother. Mom, there are so many different types of animals. Yes, my dear. Can you tell me how many and which animals are there in each paddock? There is a lion in that paddock. There are one and two, two bears in that. The paddock next to it has one, two and three, three deers. And there are one, two, three and four, four monkeys in that. Mom, but which animal is in that water paddock? I have never seen it before. Children. Can you tell me 
which animal is there in that water pedo and what is its number come on let's see my dear there are crocodiles in that pedo can you tell me how many crocodiles are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 That means that pedoc has five crocodiles. Absolutely correct. Very nice, Pinky. How different and colorful all these animals are. After going home, I will draw a picture of them. <laughs> okay, my dear. Let's go home then. Pinky then goes home and draws pictures of all the animals. Look, mom. How are these drawings? Wow, Pinky, you have made very good drawings. Come on, now make a group of one type of animals and give each group a name. Okay, Mom, but what should I name? My dear, the name of each group should be the name of the animal shown in it. Now, below each group, write the number of animals in that group. Now can you tell me if there are more animals in the lion group or in the monkey group? Hmm there is one animal in the lion group and there are four animals in the monkey group. Amongst the numbers four is more than one. Therefore there are more animals in the monkey group. Very good Pinky. Now tell me Are there fewer animals in the deer group or in the crocodile group? There are 3 animals in the deer group and 5 animals in the crocodile group. Amongst numbers 3 is less than 5. Therefore, there are fewer animals in the deer group. Very good, Pinky. Now quickly wash your hands and come. Let me serve you food. So children in this example you saw that how pinky compared the number of different animals Can you also compare the number of things near you like pinky Tell me which basket has more pens The first basket containing 5 pens or the second containing 2 pens Absolutely correct Five pens are more in number than two pens. Therefore, the first basket has more pens. So children, that was all for today. In this video, we saw some examples of numbers from 1 to 5 in which we compared these numbers. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples. Until then, goodbye friends. Interesting example part 2 So children in the previous video you saw some examples of numbers from 1 to 5 in which you compared these numbers In this video we will look at some more examples and find out where pinky might go wrong in understanding these numbers Pinky has received a lot of gifts on her birthday. She is very excited to open them. Mom, can I open my presents and see what I have got? Yes, my dear. But before that, can you count your gifts and tell me how many gifts you have received? Okay, mom. Pinky with the help of her fingers begins to count her gifts one by one. 1 2 3 4 and 5. This means I have got 5 gifts. You did not count properly, Pinky. You have counted this gift twice. Come on, count again. And this time, 
count one gift only once. Okay, mom. One, two, three, and four. This means I have got four gifts. Yes, Pinky. This time you counted right. These are only four gifts. Come on. Now write down the number of presents on this paper. Okay, mom. Has Pinky written four properly? Come on, let's see. My dear, we don't write four like this. You have written four times one. We write each number as a special symbol. Oh yes. Here you go, mom. Is it okay now? Very good, Pinky. You have written four absolutely correct. Mom, can I open and see my gifts now? Yes, my dear. It is evening, and Pinky is placing the fruits on the table in a line. First, she kept two oranges, then two mangoes, and finally. An apple. Pinky, let me cut mangoes for everyone. Can you give me two mangoes? One and two. Take this, mom. Did Pinky give two mangoes to her mother? Pinky, you gave me two fruits, but these two are not mangoes. I did not ask you for any two fruits. I asked you. For two mangoes. Oh, okay, mom. Take this. One and two mangoes. Am I right this time? Yes, Pinky. Very good. Now, quickly put the rest of the fruits back inside and wash your hands. I will cut and bring these mangoes here. So that was all in this video. In this video, we learned. that how to correctly count and write the number of objects i hope you all have understood the counting from 1 to 5 properly bye friends